Oh yes, you know. Let me start with this one. No, I'll be you know, starting this module four. It is uh, WDM concepts and components. Uh, can you guys hear me? Just someone can mute, uh, no, unmute, and uh, just respond. Yes, sir. Me? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, thirty-two people have joined. Uh, like uh, still, uh, others also will be coming. We will wait for like you know, I'll wait for another one or two minutes. Then we'll see. Hi. Sir. Okay, this is the module four. Uh, that is uh, WDM concepts and components. So uh, this is uh, uh, one, like you know uh, one of the easiest module you know, where. Uh, you set up the uh, no uh, important concepts like that. If you learn that one, it'll be very easy to you know score the marks and uh, no. And uh, in terms of OFC, you know this is uh, this module is very important. Uh, again, you no, know, this is a WDM. Uh, WDM stands for you know like uh, uh, that is wavelength. Uh, w for wavelength, D for uh, division, and uh, M for multiplexing. How we have uh, used this frequency division multiplexing same concept we'll be using in uh, WDM also. There, you know, we'll be using you know, frequency division multiplexing. Here, we'll be using wavelength division multiplexing. You can see this diagram now. Uh, this the uh, same, you know, like uh, uh, in some physics classes, you know, we might have seen when white light uh, white light pass through this prism, you no, know, we'll get different patterns of colors. Same way, if you like, you know, this. Instead of sending one uh, in a single fiber, instead of sending one light of source, you can send different colors light. In a way, it's not each color is nothing but no different wavelengths. Each color will have different wavelength, and in a way, you know, you can in a single uh, strand fiber, we can send different color data, or uh, different wavelength data. You can send a uh, different light pattern. We can send. That's the meaning of you no. Know, that's the advantage of you know uh, WDM. So this is how it works. You know, like uh, these are uh, not required, but uh, generally, you know, when you go to actual uh, industry, we'll be using this. You see this? What we are trying to do is, you know, here uh, I have this one five one zero and one five three zero and one five seven zero nanometer uh, light source is there. When you are trying to send this through your fiber. So particular uh, data only I need to send. Let's say you know I need to send this one five one zero nanometer wavelength. So here what will happen is we'll be using this thin film filters. These are two thin film filters. So with the help of these filters, you know we can block certain frequency or we can send certain frequency. You see this. So I'm from one I'm sending this data. So because of this filter thin film filters. It passes certain frequency or certain wavelength data, and it reflects other wavelength data. So you can see here, no, the two that is one seven one five seven zero data will be reflected back, and it tries to pass this one five one zero and one five three zero signals. Uh, and then you go to second filter that is TFF two that is thin film two. So it is you know like uh, it is blocking one five three zero, and it is allowing to pass this one five one zero. Nanometer data. So this so you can uh, send the data, and no, like uh, we have different different uh, uh, WDMs, you know, in the market. No, we can get no uh, eight channel or sixteen channel or thirty two channel or sixty four channel uh, WDM. Uh, you can get it, and this is how it works. And now we can have different uh, WDM technologies. You no, know? we have this thin film based, uh, you know, WDM fused fiber coupler based WDM. These are available, actually available in the market. 
you can buy this one and we can use this is a basic you know like uh, functionality what exactly you will be doing finally the main motivation is to you know pass different light sources different colored light sources through optical fiber uh, generally what will happen in late uh, 80s or uh, 70s only one light source used to pass through this uh, optical fiber because you know like optical fiber we have huge bandwidth but we did not utilize that so with the help of uh, you know like uh, wdm you can uh, you know, send you know how many data you want you can send so again you no know, when you are uh, sending data you need to make sure you no know, like uh, all this channel will be placed separately when you know you should not interfere with this that's why you know now wdm uh, whatever operational today it places channel around 100 gigahertz support each channel will be separated by 100 gigahertz in a few decades ago you know it was 200 gigahertz and again now when it was initially introduced you know it was very wide it was very wide no like that time no like uh, that was called you no know, dense wdm system again now also you know people are using you know uh, like you know dense wdm and ultra dense wdm system also is there where you know each channel will be separated with 25 gigahertz of uh, spacing we'll see you know what exactly the spacing on all those things uh, this is the general uh, block diagram of your you know wdm or the wdm component this is the title of our uh, module 4 you know you can see the title uh, wdm concepts and components so here you can see this we don't want to go in depth into these things you know these are the components you know it's like you know uh, man's uh, this is mz im is one component this fibers like you know uh, fibers so the multiplexer demultiplexer some amplifiers also will come here these are all components that's what we'll be learning in this module so uh, the laser source which will produce you know 151 uh, 1550 nanometer uh, it will be passed to ofc and we'll be using splice connectors splice connectors is nothing but you no know, it connects to ofcs and there is a maxender interferometrics this is mz dms it's like you know similar to your max only uh, we'll see this uh, concepts later this is one of the major component in wdm maxender interferometric so we'll see this then uh, from here you no know, different different uh, channels of the data will be coming through multiplexer will send the data through fibers again at the end demultiplexer will uh, no demultiple uh, demux those uh, data and will give it to this 90 degree hybrid or it's a you know like mixer mixer which will be mixed with your local acetate again you now we require this laser and from there will be giving to photo detector where uh, that uh, data uh, that electrical signal uh, sorry light signal will be converted into uh, electrical signal that's what we'll be doing this is a basic uh, you know like uh, block diagram of your wdm components when you come back to this if you see this so that's what i told you you know wdm is nothing but the technology of combining number of independent information carrying wavelength onto the same fiber is known as wavelength multiplexing or wdm so you're trying to combine number of independent information carrying wavelength so as i told you, you know in that previous diagram i showed you you know different colored data you're sending different colors will have different wavelength and that wavelength like different color uh, wavelength uh, will be carrying different information and will be sending the same wavelength uh, sorry different wavelengths data in the same fiber this is the meaning of your wavelength division multiplexing uh, it will have different application on long distance terrestrial application will be there and uh, like you know undersea transmission because you know wherever you're using you know optical fiber everywhere you require this wdm previously you know like uh, in late uh, 70s and 80s you know we have not used this one but uh, as the internet boom has become you know like uh, boom has come that's why you know people are using you know everywhere wm that's why you know you uh, people can uh, you know like uh, use you know 1 gp or 10 gp uh, 10 gbps speed also if they can use 
so previously you know like we have just simple uh, system then we'll be having uh, optical source or led will be there uh, through led you know like uh, we can send the data that is through optical fiber and photo detector you will receive data uh, like you know because of you know advent of your uh, like you know laser source as the technology has evolved through this uh, lasers uh, we can uh, you know like uh, produce different different wavelength uh, signals the different colored uh, the, you know like the light source we can produce that's why you know like uh, because of that this wdm is possible actually that's what you is telling you know with the advent of high quality sources with extremely narrow spectral emission with many independent wavelength channels spaced less than nanometer apart could be placed on the same fiber so it's like you know laser source is so good we can uh, produce different light sources that's the advantage of you know like uh, using lasers and this is another advantage is you know various optical channels can support different transmission formats by using separate wavelengths differently formatted signal at any data rate can be sent simultaneously and independently over the same fibers you know you can have different format data you can send you can see this uh, diagram this is the diagram it is there in your textbook actually whatever i showed uh, previously that was you know internet sources and this is actually your uh, you know wdm uh, for your examination you can write this one you don't have to write previous uh, this one uh, that will give you overall uh, image you see this so there is a laser source this is trice connector maxender interferometer then mux is there fiber is there dmux is there you can see this this block is given given in textbook this is there in your textbook you see you know there is a multiplexer and demultiplexer and optical fiber is there here he is not given that you see there is a mux multiplexer demultiplexer is there in between he has taken fiber he has not mentioned about this uh, post amplifier inline amplifier and pre amplifier right uh, generally this is compulsory question you no know? they will ask uh, what is wdm explain with the block diag neat block diagram the working model of uh, this wdm so that time you now you need to explain what you mean by wdm why we'll be using wdm and this block diagram you need to use you can see this different transmitters is there you know like uh, you can take you no know, different laser sources transmitter 1 transmitter 2 transmitter n and each one will be producing different wavelengths or you can see take this you know tunable sources not the uh, laser source will be there where you can tune that laser source for different frequencies or different uh, wavelengths so using this wavelength multiplexer we can choose one of the wavelength and you can send it to post amplifier because you know when you are tra uh, transmitting to long distance you know your uh, signal will be you know like uh, you will be losing signal because of inert uh, losses you lose the uh, data uh, for that we'll be using different different amplifier we'll see this amplifiers in later classes so we'll be having post amplifier, then inline amplifier, and the pre amplifier. Post amplifier means you know, once uh, data is coming from this uh, multiplexer, if it has traveled a certain distance, again you need to amplify the signal, amplify the signal, and again amplify that signal and send it to this optical fiber for a certain duration of certain distance. Again, while transmitting from one end to other end, again there will be a loss. So to compensate that again, there'll be an inline amplifier. You amplify that again uh, before sending to actual e multiplexer. We'll be having pre-amplifier where no again no you need to amplify that and you send it to demultiplexer. Demultiplexer will uh, you know, take these uh, you know like uh, wavelengths. You can see this. This is your actual WDM. A complete WDM. This we'll see this. You know, this is the entire uh, topic is there in Maxender's interferometer. Here in your textbook he is giving only this much, right? They are not mentioned about uh, inline, postline, all those amplifiers and all. But actually, in your entire topic, you'll be dealing with all these components. You know, 
Maxender is one uh, component, Max, uh, you know, multiplexer, demultiplexer, and fibers, all the inline, postline, amplifier, all those things are your uh, uh, components. So that's what we'll be learning in our uh, discussion. This the Windows, you know, like already you might have uh, learned about this uh, wavelength of sustenation. You can see this, you know, we have this uh, around 850, you know, like uh, a nanometer. You now we'll be having one more first window will be there. In that first window, you can see, you know, it will come around over here actually. And their attenuation will be very high. Sorry, uh, attenuation will be less. So that's why we won't be using this for commercial application. Uh, directly we'll go to this. Uh, second window and third window around this uh, 400 uh, uh, us and this uh, 15 you can see this uh, window somewhere not like uh, 1000 in this window you can see the saturation is very less and this third window is the best that's where you know like when you're talking about OFC, you know maximum operation the application should be there in this uh, third window because you know attenuation is very less you can see this i take this somewhere line this somewhere here this attenuation will be very less that's why you'll be using this window uh majority of the application or wherever you'll use you know will be using this and this is the general uh, this one no uh, c is equal to lambda into v so if you differentiate that we'll get this uh, because you know uh, we need to find this v v is equal to c divided by lambda when you differentiate this We'll get this equation, uh, delta V is equal to C into lambda square. Uh, this is minus uh, 1 by lambda square into lambda will be there. Since uh, we'll be taking this modulus, that's why this one will become modulus of delta lambda. This is uh, very less. We'll, we'll be changing this uh, lambda. And the ITU is nothing but no international telecommunication union. This is a union, no, how we have this uh, World Health Organization uh same way this uh for our uh, telecommunication this one we have this uh international telecommunication union again the us has a different uh union so, uh this uh, union has given this guidelines you know uh, like uh, no at point uh, eight nanometer no you can space the you know like channels 100 uh like you know you can place uh, different different channel uh with the spacing of you know 100 gigahertz uh, from this band from 1535 nanometer to 1565 nanometer we can place our uh, uh, channels in the space of uh, no, 1100 gigahertz so how exactly you can do you can see this one no? uh, there is a spectral band of 0.8 nanometer so which is equivalent to 100 gigahertz if you convert this nanometer into uh, frequency you know you'll get this 100 gigahertz <coughs> So, one five uh, one zero nanometer uh, wavelength. So, so if you can take this uh, one five three five, this is a band. So, number of channel will be one five six five minus one five three five. What is the frequency? That is point eight nanometer. So, wherever you want to place, you know, you want to place in uh, hundred gigahertz or twenty five gigahertz or two hundred gigahertz. Based on the requirement, you can choose this. When you calculate. So you can you'll get 50 channels. That means you no. Know, if you use this 0.8 nanometer, you can place 50 channels in a spacing of 100 gigahertz. That's what you're trying. And you no, know, this is the guidelines set by the International Telecommunication Unit. And you need to follow this guidelines. You know, suppose you want to you know uh, install your uh, OFCs. So you need to uh, meet this requirement. So you cannot violate this uh, rules. This is the standard set by uh, International Telecommunication Unit. So you need to follow those guidelines. And uh, that's what we have seen now. This is the uh, WDM standards. This is the WDM standards. You can see this. Again, this is recommended by, uh, OK, any you know, doubt, just uh, mute, and you can ask me if any doubt is there. Yes. 
Is anyone have any doubt? As you guys are listening, you can mute yourself and you can ask. Any doubt? Yes, sir. 